Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. I'm with T.O. Wigs. Welcome to my channel. My channel is at Pretty Wigs Please. Now, you guys, I've been making these videos, you know, with new wig wearers in mind. Um, I think of some of the things that I went through in the beginning of my wig journey. It's been well over a year ago, and I've learned a lot, so I'm trying to share some of that with all of y'all so that you don't have to go through all the stuff that I went through to be able to wear your pieces. So we've already covered a few things in the past two or three new wig wear videos that I've made. And this is going to be another one that hopefully will help you be able to better wear your wig if you're struggling with this particular problem, which is the hair falling in your face. Now, um, I want to tell you first before we get going, this is, I'm going to call it a pretty common problem. Um, when you get a lot of these pieces, no, not all of them, but I mean, I've gotten many pieces that when you first get it out of the box, the hair, or the bangs will kind of fall in your face. You'll hear it called all the time, this is a face flopper, but that's all that that means is that until you can get that hair trained off of your face, sometimes they fall in your face. I tell myself to say this, which is, uh, Another thing you'll hear in this wig community is to manage your expectations. I just want to touch on that real fast because what that means in this case is, you know, we have to remember these are wigs. They're made out of synthetic fibers or heat-friendly synthetic fibers. They're wigs. They're not our real hair. And, you know, they're going to take a little bit of care. And, I mean, to me, it's completely worth it to have to go through it tiny bit of trouble like maybe trying to train the bangs to go out of my face just to be able to wear this beautiful hair but I just wanted to say that to manage your expectations just realize that when you take a wig out of the box especially if you're new to wigs you know this is not our real hair we're fixing to make the best out of a wonderful situation with this beautiful hair. And if we have to go to a little bit of work, well, then that's what we're going to do. Okay, now I'm going to jump on in. So the piece that I'm wearing is my Candace by Henry Margot. Now, Candace is longer than this. I cut her myself just to take a little of the length off. But I chose this one for the very reason you can see, which is... When I first got Candace out of the box, she really on both sides, you know, she hangs in your face. Nobody wants to go around like that. So, you know, I've already worked on this piece over some time, but you can see that she still wants to move around in my face a little bit. Now, I can manage her easily and I actually kind of like the soft look of that, but too for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use this piece to show y'all what I do, okay? So let me take Candace off. Now, got to tell you this. Y'all, please remember while you're watching my videos, I am not a professional. <laughs> I'm just sharing the things that I've learned, kind of the hard way, the things that I've learned with y'all so you don't have to struggle maybe like I did in the beginning. So if my camera placement is not perfect, if I don't say or do everything like a professional. It's because I'm not, okay? But I wouldn't show you anything that didn't work and work well for me. You know, I want you to be able to uh, manage your stuff better from, from my experience. This is a wig head. I got it off of Amazon. Tracy may even sell these on the uh, website at TL Wigs. And if there is one, and I think there is one, I will list it down below in my description uh, along with uh, a direct link for that piece I was just wearing, that Candace by Henry Margot, in case you're interested in that piece. Uh, but that being said, let me just tell you about this wig head. It's not terribly expensive, y'all, but to me, it is invaluable. Now, if you only own one wig and you don't really ever care to do much with it, you may not want to invest in this. But if you're going to wear many different pieces and maybe sometimes have to work on them, this may be a good investment for you. I know it has just meant the world to me. So it's just this little, has a little tripod. It's got this little mannequin head on it. Um, I got mine in a 21 inch. I have a 22 inch circumference. So think of that what size to get so that when you put your wigs on them, 
you know, you won't stretch them out and that sort of thing. That's why I got a 21 inch because I'm a 22 inch circumference and that way it won't stretch my wigs out. Now, when you look at this, you can see here's the front, like the forehead, and you can see this is like the back of the head. You place your wig on this just like what, what you would think. I'm going to first put my uh, wig grip on here. Uh, a lot of people use T-pins, and I've used the T-pins. They work just great to secure your hair to the mannequin, but I don't ever have any problem just pretty much using a wig grip for the most part, unless I'm trying to curl it for an hour and a half or something. I can usually just use my wig grip. Now I'm going to put Candace on with the lace front toward the forehead part. And then I'm just gonna pull her down so that we can work on her for a minute. I'm gonna try to position this so that y'all can see well. Like I said, I may not have everything perfect, but you'll see what, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so here's Candace. You get your wig out of the box. It could be a pixie. You could get your pixie out of the box and your pixie has bangs and they hang down in your face and they may require a little training off of your face. Some require more training than others. Some you can just do it with the heat of your hands, which is how I like to do most of my pieces. I won't use this method until I've tried to uh, train my pieces just from running my fingers through them with the heat of my hands. But if that doesn't work, then we'll move on to this. Candace is synthetic fibers. She is not a heat friendly piece. You're gonna hear a lot of different stuff. Um, you know, we're not actually supposed to put heat on synthetic pieces, but I'll tell you that if you just won't overdo it and you won't leave the heat on it very long or in one place, it'll be just fine. Lots of us do it. I've done it many, many times. So, okay, anyway. So look. Here's what I'm going to do with Candace. I want her to not fall in my face. Instead of just lifting up just the front hair to pull back, I'm going to come behind the bang just a little bit, pick this little piece up that's right behind the bang. Always make sure you comb them out real good first with your wide tooth comb before you start trying to do anything when you're working on your pieces. So I'm going to take this little clip. These are just cheap little dollar store, Walmart, you know, little clips. And I'm just going to secure that hair to the rest of the hair. You know, I'm just pinning it down. So I'm going to come over here on the other side. I know I'm being a little awkward, y'all, but I just want to make sure that you're seeing what I'm doing here. Maybe as time goes by and I make more of these videos, I'll get better at all of this, this kind of part. Again, just going to take my little clip and clip it back. Now, I'm going to take my water bottle, and I've showed y'all these before. You can just get you this little water bottle anywhere. I think it's like $5. Now, I'm going to hold my hand right here, kind of on that bang part. Can you see that? And I'm going to spray right here at the roots where I first pulled it up. Not a whole lot. You see how that was just a couple of little sprays? And now I'm going to take my blow dryer. This is just a regular old blow dryer. And this is fixing to make a noise. So be ready for that because it's a blow, blow dryer. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to hit these two spots with this heat. Not for very terribly long at a time. Medium heat. Till I feel she had a little warmth on her. Now, while that's cooling off, because the key to this process working that I'm showing you is you have to let the fibers cool. They have to cool completely. And I'm going to do all this just a little faster than we might do it if we were doing it for the first time, just because I don't want the video to be terribly long. But I'll tell you 
I bet when we're through, you'll see even with what I'm doing, you'll see a difference. So there now I came up to the bang. And I'm going to clip her down to the rest of that hair. You don't have to do it perfect. You know, just get them down. Get them sitting down. There you go. Again, I'm going to take my water bottle. Spray it. Spray it. Yeah. Now, I take the palm of my hand and put it over my lace right here when I'm doing this. Because we don't really want to get our lace warm and that sort of thing. So here, let me turn my heat back on medium. Back and forth. Don't stay in one spot too long. Henry Margu lid to cool her off here for a fan. Normally, all I would do is I would just leave it to cool by itself. I might go put the laundry in the dryer, just go do some of my normal chores or whatever, and just let it cool on its own for 20 or 30 minutes or something. And if you're doing this for the very first time on a piece, because like I said, I've worked on Candace a little before, so... She's not going to be much of a challenge for me, but I'm just giving you the idea of how to do it. So if you're working on your piece for the very first time, you, you might have to repeat this process a couple of times. Like do this whole method, wear it for the day, and then the next time you want to wear it, do it again. Because you can only do it for a few seconds at a time like I just showed you because you don't want to hurt the synthetic fibers. So it can be a tiny bit of a process, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Okay. I'm going to take it down. And this should give you a good idea of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Okay, Candace. So let me put her on. And do my mannequin. Y'all see? <laughs> Isn't that unreal? Y'all, don't let your pieces sit in the box because you don't know what to do with them. I'm going to tell y'all something. When I One of my very, very first wigs was straight up with a twist. I have a picture at Christmas. I wish I could show y'all. I wore it Christmas. <laughs> and straight up with a twist has kind of, it's a Raquel Welch. It's got a lot of fibers right here. I didn't know what to do with it. It was falling in my face. I literally took like an old timey fashion barrette. I pulled that hair straight back and I just put that bread in it. When I look at that picture, I'm just like, oh Lord, I've come a long way. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> so see, see how good that worked y'all. I don't want y'all to have your Christmas pictures looking funny like mine does. <laughs> just because we don't know. That it's, there's some simple things to do. You just need somebody to tell you. I didn't have any, you know, nobody told me. <laughs> so, it's just been, well, that's not necessarily true. And I've watched a million YouTube videos since then. And yes, that's not necessarily true. I've heard, learned lots of tips and tricks from my other wig sisters. And that's all I'm trying to do with y'all is just show you tips and tricks. So, you see how that hair just went right back. Now, yes, it's it's not going to stay like that. I'm I'm having to scrunch. <laughs> it's not going to stay perfect like that the whole day. It's going to fall just like our normal hair would. It's going to fall a little bit, but that's okay because the whole point is you'll just be able to manage it after you've done this process on your new piece a couple of times. But you see... 
Isn't that amazing? You can do this, of course, on your heat-friendly pieces and on your synthetics if you just don't overdo it, do it the way that I just showed you. And please, I have to make the disclaimer to do this at your own risk because, you know, if you should do it a little different than I'm showing you and something goes wrong, oh, Lord, <laughs> I don't want to be responsible. I'm just showing you that there's simple, easy ways to make our hair wearable. I don't want you to just let your wigs sit up in the top of the closet for two years because the bangs annoyed you because you couldn't get them out of your face. You guys, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. I want to take this opportunity real fast to tell you about T.L. Wigs' private private Facebook group. It's called T.L. Wigs Support, Inspiration, and Education. I'd love for y'all to come over there and join us and chat with me and meet all of the other reviewers. I think there's like seven of us now. So I'd like for you to get to know all the other reviewers. Um, Tracy on that, just for the members of that private Facebook group, she does like $1,000 a month in giveaways, like free wigs. <laughs> Who doesn't want a free wig? <laughs> and products for your hair and gift cards. So if you'll join that private Facebook group, you know, chances are, are fair for you that you might win a free wig or one of those products or gift cards. Now, uh, I'm going to leave the link for Candace just in case you're interested in her. But if you have any questions, y'all ask me. I don't mind at all going back over this. Even though this is kind of a long video, I know you still may have questions. Everybody, hope this helped, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Come on. <laughs> Hi, y'all. I just now made that video in the house about how to keep the hair from falling in your face, and I used this piece, Candice, by Henry Margu, um, and we just now did that on this video you just watched before this. But I didn't mention the color of this piece, and I thought I would come outside and show you this color. This is 82726GR. This has been my all-time favorite color. You see it has a dark root. Look at the dimension. To me, it just has everything. It's got blondish looking, browns, hints of red. Just so much dimension on that root. I just think it's beyond beautiful. It's raining outside. I don't know if y'all can hear the rain. But sometimes I think on these gloomier days, you can see the color better. Okay, just wanted to show you my Candace that I modified. Remember, I cut her because she was long down to here. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.